All right, here we go, guys. We're at Kentucky Dragway. We're going to try to get this thing to run 6.5 and do modified class. It's probably not a really good idea trying to make adjustments and do a bracket race, but we're going to do it anyway. So uh, I put the boost controller 20 clicks out. And I'm going to do a 3,000 RPM launch. See what that does. Um, with a manual boost controller all the way no boost all the way turned down 3000 rpm and launch it ran 676 so that might be a little too much 20 clicks but we'll see oh also i had the timing at 20 i turned it down to 18 just to be on the safer side but we'll see what it does Modified. oh yeah what do you think about this it's gonna be a good day good day what are you running Sportsman? Sportsman 8th mile. Yep. Alright. We got TJ here. Lady came and watching. But check it out, guys. I freaking nailed it. 656. I think it'll I think it'll run about dead on. I didn't spool it all the way up. So we're gonna leave it there and just test a little bit and see how close. Maybe go one more click on the boost controller. But let's leave it here for now and see what happens. But my reaction time was terrible, so we gotta fix that. But I I'm very happy with that. Yeah, that 15360. Yeah, that's terrible. It's going to go faster than that if I spooled up more. Ooh, it's windy today, guys. Look at my hair. It keeps blowing the chairs over. <laughs> um, yeah, so it only 60 like a 1.5. I didn't spool up all the way. I didn't get it spooled up in time. They dropped the light too quick. But if it spools up, it's going to run on 6364. I don't know. I'm going to get it spooled up all the way. I'm trying to get it spooled up and cut good lights at the same time because I'm trying to run the one flight class. It's probably a bad idea. I should have just did testing too, but oh well. All right, I'm going to bump in this time. I set the bump to where to bump a little bit further because last time I tried bumping it in, it was flickering the bottom bolt. So I turned that up a little bit more and I turned the boost down, boot manual boost controller down five clicks because I know it's going to go faster if I spooled all the way up. We're trying to run 650 with it spooled all the way up because on them 650 index races, I'll definitely be bumping on those, bumping in on those, so let's practice that. Um, probably not going to do good at the bracket race, but we'll get her dialed in. down to six clicks now I think we just had 10 clicks or did we have 15 I lost count oh well we're dialing in 650 no matter what if it runs too fast runs too slow we'll just buy back in until we get it to 650 with it full spooled bumped in full spooled bumped in 637 at 109 1.45 look at that reaction time yes sir. Um, so it's bumping in good now. Now we just not need to get it to run 6.5 full spool. But we lost our belt on that pass. Come to find out the crank bolt's loose. And the bracket, every one of them bracket bolts come loose. 
So this was wobbling. It's riding right on the edge. I tighten up the crank bolt, tighten up these. We're gonna take that turbo up and tighten that up properly. I don't know if you guys saw me put this together, but uh, I just sent that on with an impact. And you're supposed to torque that thing at like two million pounds. I forget the number. But uh, still riding right on the edge, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. We're gonna try it anyway. All right, so I wound up going 10 clicks. I think it was on 15 for that pass. We're still at 3,000. Hopefully the belt stays on. It's close, but I need to tighten the crank properly. And I need to take all these screws out, lock tight them, and put them back in. Here we go, guys. 650 or bust. Probably a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I got my slip wet but uh it ran a 652 i had a 036 light to his 026 he beat me by a tenth there and um he ran 023 over i run 027 over give him 0.014 win buy back and do it again and we're gonna dial in 652 i'm impressed so that's maybe one more click on the boost controller uh for 650 i don't know um but we're gonna leave it there for now uh, and just put it at 652 dial in and see if we can't do good on this bracket race i tell you what i keep cutting lights like that 014 on that last run and 036 and if it keeps running 652 we're gonna have a chance here and the belt don't seem to have moved any so i think we'll be fine there until we get done with this race all right we bought back and we're gonna do it again we're gonna win right baby yep <laughs> All right, let's do uh, round two. We changed the dial into 652, if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. But um, I'm gonna be honest with you, that guy was right beside me, he dialed in 630, he was right beside me the whole time. And I got to looking to see where he was at, and I forgot to shift into third gear forever. So I ain't no telling how I wound it out or how that's gonna affect things. Cause I usually shift it at 6,500, 65 to 68, but. We're gonna try to shift it correctly this time and hopefully it still runs 652 again. I don't know. It might speed up a little, we'll see. TJ lost, Willis won, I broke out. I, but I think it's safe to say I've got her dialed in to 6.5. That's a 6.499 and a 6.52. I can live with that. I cut a decent lot, I broke out, didn't matter. But look at this guy's package. 003 reaction time and he runs 002 over. 
for a total package of .005. That's almost impossible to beat. You'd have to be perfect to beat that. But uh, we bought back in. We'll try again. I'm a glutton for punishment. But um, I'm happy no matter what. If we lose next round, oh well. The most the thing that I was really wanting to do, I'm wanting to do 650 index in this car. And I wanted to get it dialed to 650. And that's a 6.499 <clears throat> and a 6.52. I, I think we're dialed in for the 6.5 index. So the next time they have a 650 index race at, at Cincy Street Nights, Edgewater, or Ohio Valley, or or Kentucky Dragway has a 6.4. We're going to get in that also. But uh, I'm gonna, if they're in this area, you know, within a two, three hour drive, I'm going to start going to those. And hopefully we can get that car in the winter start going some 650 index. That's the main goal. But uh, earlier today, before I came to the track, I did take two degrees of timing out of it, so it's at 18 degrees. And honestly, it seems like per boost, it's running faster now. So I might uh, take a day to experiment with that, see what timing it runs the best at. Uh, I might have too much timing in it, and it might just be overtimed, and that, that'll slow you down, but E85 is pretty safe, so... Um, Luckily, it, it didn't hurt anything, but yeah, at 18 degrees, it seems like it's running faster. So, one of these days, on a test and tune, I'm going to do a max effort pass on 18 degrees and then try one on 16 degrees. And if it keeps trapping better, I'll go lower and lower and see where it likes to be. So, definitely need to get that dialed in. Dialed in all based off the mile prior track. We'll do that one day. All right, we went back to 650 dial-in. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but yeah. We went back to a 650 dial-in. This is when it counts. No more buybacks. You lose now, you gone. All right, we didn't record that one, but we got the W. He red-lighted barely and barely broke out by 004 red light or 010 red light. Oh, and he broke out by 004. But, uh, I, that's a decent light. It could be better. But look at there. I run dead on 650 with an 8. Boy, I, th I think we're dialed into 650. I sure do. All right. Win when it matters. Now, hopefully, we can keep winning. <laughs> All right. Round four. I think there's four cars left. I'm not 100 sure, but I believe there's four cars left. Uh, I'm racing the guy that beat me two out of three last week. He is tough. That Vega is tough too that I beat me twice today. I raced him both times, but unfortunately he broke out last pass and lost. So there's a, a Dakota, an S10, a first gen Camaro and a fourth gen Camaro left. And uh, that's the fastest car, it's 577. I think that truck's a 648 and the truck in front's a in the finals that time i run a 650 dead on with a three 6.503 and i cut an 018 light and 650 with a three he run 13 over and cut a 042 we're in the finals guys we're in the freaking finals man yes 650 in well i just wasn't used to nobody taking off before me and i read like bad but look, man, I'm running 650 something every single time. Freaking awesome. Second place. Woohoo!